Hey guys, it's Spacey Sims, and we are back with Spacey playing random games, and of course we are playing Cinders. So, uh, we left off and Cinders had gone to town to meet, uh, to give money to Tobias, and she kind of haggled and saved 21 coins for herself, 25 coins for herself, and we chose to go to the tavern and spend them, and so Carmosa yelled at us because she's a witch. Um, let's load our game. Meanwhile, at the palace. So. Perry! My lord, I've been told you wanted to see me. I have been informed of the hostage situation at the marketplace today. I also heard that you handled the situation rather admirably. For that, I commend you. Thank you, my lord. But the truth is that I regret having to kill so many men. They couldn't even put up a fight. Such is the burden of those in positions of power. Is that Prince Basset? Is, I'm, I'm, is, is it like French? I don't know. Stop having fancy names! We must make difficult decisions for the sake of protecting others. It's not a choice, but a duty. And you performed your duty to perfection. You honor me with your words, my lord. You deserve it. After all, my father, your king, has always spoken well of you. I know he even considered you a friend. If the king spoke so, I am honored by such confidence. Truly, what do you think of my father? How was it to serve under him? The king was a wise, skillful, and strong leader. I would have followed him anywhere. That is what I have heard from everyone who knew him. Already I fade in comparison. My prince... I have not yet been crowned, as father's last wish was that I should find a wife first. No doubt he wished that I find someone capable of ruling by my side. Of course, every noble in the land is eagerly pushing an eligible daughter toward me, but I need a strong woman I can rely on, a queen who can support my agenda no matter how hard it's going to be. I am a simple warrior, my lord. I know very little of romance and politics. Nonsense. My father trusted you in more matters than war. And I, too, am willing to do that. Please advise me, not as the captain of the guard, but as my friend. But I confess, even my own palace is not safe, is not a safe palace for discussing such delicate matters. The walls have ears, and I would not wish for my search for a wife to become any more public than it already is. Might we go hunting together tomorrow morning? I think we would find the forest a safer place for discussion. Such an action is dangerous, my lord. If something were to happen to you, there is no one to succeed you on the throne. Is that so? I cannot imagine anything safer than having the famous captain of the guard by my side. If that is what you wish, my lord. That is indeed what I wish. You can go now, friend. My prince. Good old Perry. <laughs> Brave captain of the royal guard. First sword of the kingdom. Veteran of the renegade war. Good lord, are you in love with them or what? Reduced to killing common thugs and guarding market stalls. Not yet aware of how obsolete his role is. There are, oh, these are different times that require a new kind of bravery and power. Our wars will not be fought using iron and fire, but gold and lies. I want to call him Prince Basil. <laughs> I'm just giving them all new names. Which one? Which two? Hagatha. <laughs> I hope you can adapt to these new times, my poor old friend. Because when I become the king and start realizing my plans, goodness knows I'm going to need someone like you. He sounds shady all of a sudden. Right? Totes shady. Later that night. Finally, I have some time to myself after doing Carmosa's bidding all day. Still, it could have been worse. Carmosa was furious and I got nothing but cold scraps for dinner. But at least I was able to get away from the house for most of the day. I always loved going into town. Plus, you ate like a huge meal at the tavern, so whatever. I can't believe how exhausted I am after today, though. My feet ache and I feel so sleepy. I should go to bed. Carmosa certainly won't allow me to sleep in tomorrow. Knocking sound. Bang, bang! Ooh, someone was actually knocking. Did you hear that sound? Was that someone knocking at the door? Why would someone be visiting at such a late hour? Silence! I paid for your discretion, and yet you pound on the front door as if it's a war drum, and you're screaming, mind you. 
Right, right, pardon, madam. I swear I'll be silent as the tombs are. Right away, mum's the word. Enough with your nonsense. The package is ready to go. Can I trust you? Oui, oui. You wound my pride, madame. Uh, I'm more trustworthy than an old priest in a confessional. That's not how you spell wee-wee, oui, oui, but that's okay. I just... That's just how I read it. I don't know. Such an utterance is of little comfort to me. <laughs> no one can escape Carmosa's biting tongue. Now prove there's some value to, the, to your words and go before someone sees you. I think he's gone. What was that all about? What on earth is Carmosa trying to hide? Maybe I should sneak out the window and try to follow him. He can't have gone far. If I leave now, I'm sure I can catch up with him. No, no. That's crazy. I can't do that. Follow him. <laughs> I must be crazy, but this might be my only chance. How long have I waited here, wishing for a change? Finally, an opportunity has presented itself. Well, if you keep talking, he's going to be halfway to the town. He's going to be halfway to Prague. I don't even know where they are. I'm just throwing out things. Carmosa clearly has a secret. If I could figure it out, I might have an advantage over her. No one is outside the window. Now is as good a time as ever. Here goes nothing. I love the, like, the weird choices it gives you. Well, now what? I tried to keep my distance while following that man, and now I've lost his trail completely. If he's somewhere up ahead, I'll really have to hurry to catch up with him. But if I accidentally pass him, then I run the risk of running into him when I return home. Ow! Curse these demonic excuses for plants. The way you scratch it a fell- Oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to kind of rewind that. Rewind? Ow! Curse these demonic excuses for plants. The way you scratch at a fellow, you're more like wildcats than shrubs. That must be him. He's so close, I better hide. Ah, blasted rocks! What are they doing in my path? Oh my god, look at him, he's toad shady. You'd think they'd clear out this place. According to that fellow, counting that a fellow can't see a thing in the dark. It's not proper, I tell you. Well, I'm sure this be the place where I'm scheduled to meet that smart-ass merchant. Smart us or not, shouldn't you be more careful when talking about the man who pays you? Oi, boss. I was just taking talking a little to myself. Yeah, oi is what it's supposed to be, not we. I'm stupid. <laughs> I just I just I don't know why he said would have said oi oi you know to her, that just sounded weird. But anyway, oi, boss, I was just talking a little to myself. No harm meant, you know. Truly. I suppose I can let this one go, if you've brought the package as discreetly as Lady Carmosa requested. Why is he being shady, Tobias? Of course, of course. No ifs about it, boss. It wounds my honor that you doubt my competence for even a moment. No, I'd never doubt you. Now hand it over. Uh, before I do, boss, I have a little something I'm needing to ask ye. And what would that be? You know I'm an honest man, but my curiosity just took hold of me so hard. I had to have a look inside the package. And lo and behold, my eye spies a mighty fine necklace set with rubies and made of gold. Weird thing is, he had that on his uh, table, didn't he? He had a fancy necklace. It's worth thousands of sovereigns at least, yeah? I specifically instructed you not to look inside. But the necklace! Yes, it's probably worth quite a lot of money. I don't get it, boss. Why is the noble lady paying us to take us off her hands? Seems all wrong ways around to me. I'm sure she has her reasons, and you're not being paid to poke around and ask needless questions. In fact, if you don't keep your mouth shut, you won't be paid at all. Whoa, boss, no need to get so angry. My mouth is secure as the royal treasury it is. I doubt the contents are quite as valuable. Still, you've completed your task, so here is your pay. Fifteen sovereigns. Try not to drink it all at once. Me? Never. You wound me with your accusations, boss. I'm sure. Well, we should return to the town before stum someone stumbles upon us. What on earth is Tobias up to? Never mind that. If I don't do something, they'll leave before I can do anything. Now but my, now might be my only chance to confront him, but I probably shouldn't act too impulsively. Uh, we go back home. We're not going to confront him in the woods with Shady Dude. I think I've seen enough. I better get back before they catch me or someone finds me missing. I'll talk to Tobias about this later, after I've had some time to think about it. It's best to speak with him alone anyway. Yeah, because that Shady Dude would knife you. That castle in the background is so pretty. <laughs> I freaking love the artwork! Oh my god, woo! In the morning. Oh, beautiful. We represent the Lollipop Guild. No, I'm just kidding. I was expecting, uh... I was expecting fairies. 
Oh, if what a night. Maybe boss was right when he said not to drink away my pay in one go. Still, can't say it wasn't worth it for how great it wa great last night was. Wait, what exactly happened last night? How did I even wind up here? The deer went this way, my lord. Oh, I someone's coming. Better lay low for a mite. Hurry, before it gets away. Forget the deer, Captain. There are more important matters at hand. Oh, frick, now the shady guy's gonna... No, don't talk about it! If this is about what you asked yesterday, my lord, I know little of politics or the affairs of the court. That's exactly why I need you. You're straightforward and honest, and you see things I can't. Behind all those smiles, everyone in the court lies to me. No, you're the only man I can trust. I will serve you to the best of my ability. What is it that you wish to discuss? It's about my father's last wish. I must have a wife before I ascend to the throne. How am I to choose one? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Just guess. There's a ball in a few days. Oh, sorry. Ahem. There's a ball in a few days. Isn't that your chance to find an eligible young lady? In theory, but that's the problem. How will I be able to tell? Uh, the hottest one wins? Just guessing. That's how it worked back in the day. The monarchy is weak without a king, and the nobles around me are plotting to advance themselves. They groom their daughters like prize spaniels in the hopes that I'll be taken in by a pretty face. Okay, so not. <laughs> uh, so the ugly one wins? I need a wife who is strong and smart. Someone who can rule the kingdom wisely and not feed me her father's poisonous words. But I doubt that I'll ever find such a woman. Ah, uh, the ugliest one wins. Don't give up on every maid in the kingdom, my lord. Even yesterday, I met a young woman who had a quick wit and a fire in her eyes. She did not seem like a woman of nobility, though. A shame, that is, for I would gladly have gone to see any woman that you hold in such regard. And yet you must choose a wife from among the nobility, regardless. Well, isn't she noble, even though she's, like, being treated like a slave? I don't know. It is, after all. It is, after all, tradition. I'm getting confused. My voice is here. <laughs> you know, I'm not really keeping up with the voice. I'm just kind of, I don't know, thinking it. As if tradition mattered to that brood of vipers, they plot to control the throne before it's even in my grasp. If I marry to please a powerful house, I risk having a fool for a wife. But what other choice do I have? If we respected the traditions to the fullest, you'd be able to choose any woman at the ball, even someone you didn't know. How convenient that this rule is often forgotten. Someone I didn't know. Captain, you're brilliant. It's perfect. I'm not sure I follow your thinking, my lord. He looks totes confused. A masquerade ball. I'll be able to choose from the women without discriminating over looks or political ties. They've been pushing me to follow tradition for so long, they can't complain if I remember the old rules. Captain, you, are tr you truly are a remarkable man. I see now why father trusted you so much. Of course, my lord. Well, it's always an honor to be of service. He's like, that was a fucking accident. Look at his face. He's like, that was totes accidental. <gasps> Look, I love the way, like, the background kind of moves and, like, you know, you got the light and everything. God, oh, it's so pretty. Thank you so much, my friend. You are a rare breed indeed. Still faithful to your ideals. Ideals are not. Our prey has long since escaped us. And if we linger any longer, people might grow suspicious. You're right, my friend. Let us return to the cathol- Cathol? The cathol? The castle with all haste. Now that I have a solution in mind, I can return with a light heart. Shady character. Ah, oh, frick. Well, that's a beauty gossip. Uh, well, that's a bit of juicy gossip you don't hear every day. A masquerade ball, huh? I know a certain lady who would pay handsomely for this information. I bet she would. The day may have started lousy after all of last night's drinking, but it's turned out to be quite a good one after all. And thanks to a few extra rounds at the pub. You can't go wrong with that. I totally did his voice wrong this time. I don't know. You know. <sighs> Wait. <sighs> I really actually kind of had yawn after that. What time is it? The sun is already so high in the sky. I must have slept in. Considering how long I spent outside last night, that's hardly a surprise. I'm still not sure what to think about what happened. I want to trust Tobias, but... Well, at least it's something different from the usual. It's strange how my life has been so boring all this time. Then suddenly all these things are happening to me. But even stranger than that, I wonder why no one has come to wake me up yet. It must be at least noon, if not later. Too bad we don't have clocks. 
I mean, you have candles and everything. Somebody obviously turned that on. Surely Carmosa hasn't decided to be gracious and grant me a holiday. I want none of your pitiful excuses! Uh-oh, Carmosa's definitely not in a gracious mood. I should get going and see what's going on before she catches me like this. I like how the screen shook when she yelled. Ooh! Everyone is here. You're an even bigger disappointment than usual! Looks like Carmosa's mad at Gloria today. I wonder why. Hey, Sophia. Cinders, not so loud. I don't want you to get in trouble or miss any of this. But what's going on? Business as usual. Mother's in a bad mood and Gloria was the nearest thing she could yell at. I'm not interested in your excuses. It's your duty to make sure there's enough wood for the fireplace. But if the servant is allegedly ill, then find someone else. Do it yourself if you have to. I'm sorry, Mother. I understand. If you truly understood, this wouldn't have happened in the first place. But I'm wasting my breath. I can only hope that you've learned your lesson and this won't happen again. Seems I can't trust you girls with even the smallest tasks. I wish that one of you would finally take charge of things. Yes, Mother. Well, don't just say yes. Prove your worth by taking action. Make sure dinner is ready in two hours. I expect the wood to be chopped by then as well. Don't worry, Mother. I, I will. Cinders, Sophia, why are you two wasting your time eavesdropping instead of being useful? Teehee, it's not a waste to watch the mighty all-knowing Gloria get scolded by Mom. What a bag of douches these two are to each other. I love it. Oh, what's this? You usually have such a sharp reply, but now you can't think of anything to say? Whatever happened to the perfect, glorious, outspoken Gloria? One scolding from Mom is all it takes to shut you up? I don't have time to deal with your childish, childish jealousy right now, but watch your tongue. It will certainly get you into trouble someday. Anyway, you two heard Mother. Dinner must be ready in two hours, so get started. What? Why do we have to get dinner ready? Because I'll be busy taking care of Mother's other needs, like getting the wood chopped. If you'd rather not, I can always tell Mother you refuse to obey her orders. Fine, I'll do it. Just pray that your food isn't poisoned. Ha! Huh, as if you'd have the guts to do such a thing, little sister. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have duties to attend to. I don't know, chopping wood doesn't... I'd rather cook dinner. <laughs> well, it looks like I'm stuck working with you, Cinders. What should I say to Sophia? Why were you so cruel to Gloria? You sure told her. Ask her why she's so mean. Why were you so cruel to Gloria? Why? Don't you hate her too? Well, maybe. But you're her sister. Aren't you supposed to support each other? Oh, if only Gloria believed that. No, there's certainly no support here, and it's mostly her fault. She always acts so smug and self-righteous, but there's no trace of her own will or personality in there. She's kind of a bitch, but I feel like she's a little bit nicer. Like, she's not as mean to Cinders, you know? She's just trying to copy Mom, even though it's impossible. And of course, she takes out all her frustration on me. She probably thinks Mom will recognize her more if she keeps degrading me. I have no reason to be kind to her. I understand. But I don't... Uh, but don't you wish that you would that would change? Living under Carmosa is hard enough already. Wouldn't it be better to band together instead of fight each other? Maybe, but why does it matter? Why am I even discussing this with you? I must be getting desperate. Of course I want to be on better terms with Gloria, but she drew the line a long time ago. I may not be as clever or as beautiful as Mom or Gloria, but I'm not naive. People don't just change. They remain cruel as long as it benefits them. That's such a sad outlook on life. It must have been really hard for you growing up. Oh, please. I don't need pity, especially not from you. Life is hard, and no amount of sweet words will change that. God, this is such a, it's a bunch of miserable people. Now let's go get dinner ready before we get in trouble. Ba, 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 pause. We're going to save this here. I am... Pick a slot to save your game. Hey, stop. Oh, we're going to quit. Okay. So we saved. Um, I'm going to wrap this part up here, guys. I hope you are enjoying it. I am actually having a lot of fun doing this. I am recording all of these at the same time. <laughs> actually <laughs> kind of addicted to find out what happens but uh anyway so yeah i will see you guys next time remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more